everyone, Adam here, and today we're making this delicious no bacon cheesecake. It's a chocolate hazelnut cheesecake. So, get ready for it. First, I'm going to start by adding a quarter cup of melted butter to my graham crumbs. So, I'm just going to make that all nice, just like these. I'm going to stir it up, and we're going to put that in the bottom of my greased, uh, my greased spring floor pan. So, you stick that in the bottom, in the pan like that. See? And it should just like stay in one place like these. Now we're going to make the best part. In a stand mixer or with a hand blend or a hand mixer, whichever you want, just add two blocks of cream cheese. That's eight ounce packs of cream cheese. And we're just going to smooth that out. Scrape down the sides just to make sure you get it all. Then you want to add your chocolate hazelnut spread. About one and a half cups. Add your heavy cream. One cup. Well, don't turn the mixer on too high because that'll happen. You make a mess. Give it another good little stir. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. So, we have our base, and we have our mix to go in that base, the delicious cheesecake part. I've whipped it up so that it's nice and fluffy, so it gets a nice airy texture, and when you freeze it, it's almost like ice cream. It's like an ice cream cake, chocolate hazelnut cheesecake. Anyway. I'm just gonna pour that in here. So I'm using a spoon as opposed to a rubber spatula. A rubber spatula would be great to have, but I uh, I went and baked it in the oven. I don't, 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 just don't ask. Uh, we all make mistakes. So, that's all set up, ready to go. We're gonna pop that in the freezer for a couple hours. It's best to leave it in overnight, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait that long. While our cheesecake is chilling, I'm going to make the ganache. I have a small pot. I have one cup of heavy cream. I'm going to pour that one cup of heavy cream into said pot. And then we're gonna bring it up to a boil. Cooking so that we don't scorch the cream. All right, as soon as our uh, heavy cream comes to a boil, we're gonna pour it over the chocolate chips. We have a cup and a half of chocolate chips. And this is gonna slowly melt the chocolate, forming the ganache, and it's just as simple as that. And we're gonna let that cool while the cheesecake is cooling. And we're gonna pour that onto the cheesecake. That is what you want. This consistency. I don't want to pour it too. I don't want. I don't want to pour it on the tape. That's all. Okay. So now that our uh, cheesecake has been in the freezer and it's all nice and frozen and nothing's going to happen, we're going to take it out of the pan and transfer it to this plate, and then we're going to ganache it up. So I'm just going to loosen it up with a knife, just around the edges to make sure. Presto! There it is. Now we're gonna add the ganache. Where the cake, or the cheesecake is cold, the ganache will set pretty quick. And that, my friends, is a no-bake chocolate hazelnut cheesecake. So subscribe to my channel, like the video, Share it with everybody, and tomorrow I will make a sauce to accompany it. Take care, everyone. Woo, 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 woo.